today's program, we will experience together the words, music, cuisine, dance, and prayers from a variety of Jewish communities around the world. We'll enjoy the richness, differences, and recognize that it is exactly those unique tunes and tastes that makes us a stronger, more resilient people. Uh, this particular program you're about to see uh, is fascinating uh, in my view. It's about uh, celebrating Shabbat. And to me, that's one of the uh, most wondrous uh, ideas that came from Judaism. Diversity does not just confer strength, it confers legitimacy. When we acknowledge and unify through our diversity, celebrating our diversity, there is no challenge to which we cannot rise. We share a common responsibility to our fellow Jews. We share a dedication to Israel, and we unite against all those who espouse and practice anti-Semitism. That when we put aside our differences, we recognize that we are not all the same and all hold the same beliefs, but we understand that the whole is far greater than the sum of the parts, that our strength lies in our unity. Unity through diversity is honoring the different tiles of the mosaic, while at the same time being able to take a step back and appreciate the masterpiece. Shabbat is a way of focusing our lives. It's not just a, a day, it's a concept, it's an idea, it's a philosophy of life. I want to share with you, with all of you all over the world and in Israel, a special Egyptian Shabbat dish. My mother, Esther Vidal, used to cook for us every Friday. In Egypt, all the Jews of Egypt were eating sofrito after Kiddush in Friday night dinner. What the sofrito is? The sofrito is a Ladino. Sofrito is twice, twice fried. So this is the dish, the sofrito. Mm, it smells so good. Well, nom nom nom. <laughs> this is the sofrito. A rabbi say, she'en. No Jews' thoughts, ideas, worldview is akin or similar to another's. Just like their faces are all different. Each of us have our own unique faces, our own unique fingerprints, our own unique thoughts and ideas. The way in which we experience the world is shared by no one else. And Sefaradim, especially here at Nikkei Israel, have cherished that individuality very, very highly. In reflecting on unity and diversity, we can say this is what makes us strong, united, true members of the Spanish and Portuguese synagogue and true residents of Quebec. Unity is by us accepting and, um, and respecting the differences. I think of like, you know, that's what Kibbutzka, the beauty of Kibbutzka Luyot is all about, gathering the exiles. That each one, it's not a melting pot. In a melting pot, or they call in Hebrew, Kura Ituch, each one loses their identity, and then we have a big soup, and that's a pity. I would think more of, if we're talking about food, a salad. We, Bnei Israel, the Jewish people, are from different tribes. We have different flags, colors, languages, and customs. Yet despite this, there are things that unite us. The Israelite nation was born of 12 tribes, sons of Jacob. The human nation was born of Shem, Ham, and Yafet, sons of one couple, Adam and Eve. The multiple strands are what makes the rope stronger and more sustainable, the rope of unity through diversity.